So good morning and welcome back to the classics in total synthesis in Peter lecture series. In the last lecture we talked about uh, the application of photochemical reaction in the total synthesis of uh, triquinanes. So we will continue our discussion on synthesis of few more triquinanes using different types of photochemical reaction and how they have successfully used this photochemical reaction in synthesis of triquinanes. So first we will start with two total synthesis reported from Moda's group, one on hirsutane, other one on capnelane. So this is the structure of hirsutane and he again as I said he has used photochemical reaction as well as trimethyl silyl iodide mediated rearrangement of a bicyclic system as key reactions in the synthesis of hirsutane. So let us see how he has thought about it and according to him this molecule can be easily obtained as you can see uh, obtained from this enone you do a reductive alkylation at this carbon and followed by Wittig reaction one can convert this into the natural product and this can be obtained from this tricyclic compound using trimethyl silyl iodide mediated rearrangement of this bicyclic compound the 6 membered and 4 membered it undergoes a rearrangement. I will come back uh, how this rearrangement takes place in a while. And of course this can be easily obtained by 2 plus 2 cycloaddition reaction. What is uh, the trimethyl silyl iodide mediated rearrangement and how does it work? So if you have a bicyclic system uh, particularly a 6 membered ring fused with a 4 membered ring and if you treat with trimethyl silyl iodide one of the carbonyl group will attack trimethyl silyl group and then you form the corresponding oxonium ion. Immediately the bond which is fusing the 6 membered and 4 membered ring so will migrate as shown here to form a bicyclic compound where both the rings are 5 membered ring. Once you have this carbocation iodide will attack and you will get the corresponding iodide this undergoes further cleavage to introduce the double bond. Both iodine and OTMS will eliminate to generate the double bond and that double bond under the same condition will isomerize to get the conjugated ethyl. Okay. So basically if you look at this, this reaction is done in two steps. First the photochemical reaction 2 plus 2 to get this compound then you treat with trimethylsilyl iodide that rearranges to the bicyclic compound where both the rings are 5 membered rings. Okay. Let us see um, how he has developed this for the synthesis of acetate. So he took cyclohexene dione and then did 2 plus 2 cycloaddition with the cyclopentene having a gem dimethyl group to get this tricyclic compound then treat with trimethyl silyl iodide. Okay. Treat with trimethyl silyl iodide. So, which forms this intermediate followed by migration of this bond, okay, you get this tricyclic compound. And as I discussed in the previous slide, this will be attacked by iodide followed by elimination, you get the corresponding enone that undergoes isomerization to give the tricyclic compound. So, this tricyclic compound you could easily get in two steps, very interesting, okay, two steps. Then reductive alkylation was done with lithium in liquid ammonia. So lithium in liquid ammonia it reduces and then it basically it reduces the double bond and generates nanion here that can be quenched with methyl iodide and followed by Wittig reaction on the ketone gives natural product. So if you look at this synthesis in 4 steps Oda's group could successfully achieve the total synthesis of hirsutin. And the overall yield is also very high and 36 percent overall yield uh, for a uh, natural product total synthesis is considered as an excellent uh, uh, outcome and that is mainly because you could do it in 4 steps and one of them is photochemical reaction, other one is rearrangement. So that is how he could successfully do this. Then he extended the same methodology 
to its isomer capnelin if you look at histidine and capnelin this I already discussed when I talked about uh, initial introduction to triquinines. So, there is some minor uh, modification or adjustment of uh, alkyl groups between hirsutin to capnelin. So, he thought he could extend the same method to the total synthesis of capnelin and here he used one more key reaction that is uh, titanium mediated ester ketone reductive coupling which later people call it as uh, a Shapiro reaction which later people call it as McMurray coupling ok. So, how he did this let us see uh, his retrosynthesis if you look at this portion as you know it comes from the TMS iodine mediated rearrangement. So, once you have that this 3 carbon unit can be easily introduced by Michael reaction with ethyl acrylate and one can also cyclize this to get the corresponding ketone and then followed by Wittig reaction you can introduce a double bond. This as I said one can use uh, a Michael reaction to introduce the CH2 CH2 COT ET and this is obtained by TMS iodide rearrangement and which in turn can be easily made from cyclohexene diode and isobutylene. And this uh, McMurray coupling uh, you know if you have a diketone and if you treat with titanium 0 it can form either uh, a ring with a double bond or it can form a diol ok. But if you have a keto ester uh, same thing if you do first it will form the diol which is almost like pinnacle type coupling then this will undergo elimination to get the enol ether which upon hydrolysis will give you the corresponding ketone. So, this is what McMurray has reported if you have a ketone and an ester you will get the ketone. If you have two ketones you will get either diol or the diol will be further converted into the double bond. And the other starting material that is cyclohexene 1 4 dione. So, that was not easy to prepare, but there are reports how one can make this in good quantity. So, this was done using a combination of Diels-Solder reaction followed by reduction and pyrolysis. In 3 steps one can get or one can reduce one of the double bonds of benzoquinone ok. See that is what you need is not it you take benzoquinone and reduce one of the double bonds. So, how it was done first you do a Diels-Solder reaction with cyclopentadiene and you get this uh, tricyclic adduct. Then you have to selectively reduce the double bond which is in conjugation with 2 ketones that is very easily done by treating with zinc and acetic acid. So, now if you do a pyrolysis if you heat it ok if you heat it it will undergo a retro Diels-Solder reaction and this also can be done and if you if you heat it and then distill ok. So, while distillation under reduced pressure also one can do the same thing that is pyrolysis that is retro 2 plus 2 ok. Retro 2 plus 2 will give you the cyclohexene 1 4 dione plus cyclopentadiene ok. So, this cyclohexene 1 4 dione upon photochemical reaction with butylene will give you the bicyclic compound ok. This bicyclic compound upon treatment with trimethyl silyl iodide as I mentioned earlier for the in synthesis it undergoes rearrangement to give the corresponding bicyclic compound. This undergoes further elimination to get the bicyclic enone. Once you have this bicyclic enone then one can do the Michael addition product. For that first introduce a CHO that is normally done by treating with sodium hydride and quenching with ethyl formate you introduce the aldehyde. Then you do the Michael addition. So, Michael addition is done with triethylamine and ethyl acrylate and after the Michael addition this aldehyde also undergoes a, a sort of retroclysin to give only the Michael addition product aldehyde is easily removed. Once you have that then you do the 
one four addition with lithium dimethyl cuprates you could introduce a methyl group then you carry out the McMurray coupling reaction you have a ketone you have an ester then the McMurray coupling gives the 5 umbered ketone ok it forms the enol ether hydrolyzed to give the 5 umbered ketone in the, the example where I have shown we formed 6 umbered ketone here it is 5 umbered ketone once you have the ketone next step is just to form the double bond using Wittig reaction to get the corresponding natural product that is capital A. So, to summarize uh, ODA group could synthesize this capnalin in 1987 and the starting material was same for capnalin as well as uh, hirsutine that is cyclohexene 14 dione which is made from para benzoquinone by reducing the double bond. The double bond was uh, reduced selectively but through 3 step sequence uh, first uh, diel sol reaction followed by reduction of the double bond and retro diel sol reaction and the second key reaction was the McMurray coupling of the ester and ketone to get the ketone and overall the whole synthesis was done or accomplished in 6 longest linear steps with an overall yield of 25 percent. So, 25 percent overall yield for any natural product synthesis is so quite high and it was very successful one. So, now we will move to another very interesting photochemical reaction which has been successfully used by Paul Bender's group and also others. So, here what he has used is a meta photocycloaddition reaction of an aromatic compound with a double bond as a key reaction to make many natural product uh, belonging to triquinanes. One such natural product which we will discuss is isochomene. And his idea is this is the first retrosynthesis you can see you introduce a double bond and the double bond if you reduce you get isochomene and this can be obtained by this particular tetracyclic intermediate where you can see a cyclopropane ok. Now let us see how he makes this cyclopropane. He used a very clever adding meta photo cycloaddition reaction as the key reaction. So, you can see a aromatic ring and a double bond this under photochemical condition undergoes this arene meta photo cycloaddition to give this tricyclic compound. I will come to that how this is done and this can be obtained easily uh, in few steps uh, starting with 2 bromo toluene and methyl vinyl ketone and another bromo butene. Okay. So, before going into the details uh, I will discuss about this uh, arene meta photocycle addition and before that the starting material that is uh, this aromatic compound how they made it. You take this 2 bromo transbutene and treat with lithium. So, you will exchange the bromine with lithium and then you exchange with copper and that undergoes 1,4 4 addition with methyl vinyl ketone to get this intermediate. This intermediate then you add to a lithio derivative of 2 bromo toluene and cuprosiodide. So, that will give you this alcohol ok. This lithium if you add to this ketone you will get this compound ok. Now, again if you treat with lithium in liquid ammonia, so this benzylic alcohol will be cleaved and you get the starting material which is required for the photocycloaddition reaction. So, this photocycloaddition reaction gives you this intermediate as well as B ok. So, A and B they are obtained in almost equal amount and if you take A and again heat it ok. So, after photochemical reaction you isolate that and then heat it this will undergo so opening of the cyclopropane to give this diet ok. And that if you reduce selectively only this double bond you will get isochrome. And this method was extended for the total synthesis of ceratopicanol again same arene olefin metaphotocycloaddition was used 
following what Venter has reported. As you can see here, this can be obtained from the corresponding E known by simple reduction, and this can be obtained again from this cyclopropene, okay, and which in turn can be obtained from this aromatic substituted compound, okay. How E synthesized? So, you took this aldehyde. So, this aldehyde can be obtained in two steps from isobutronitrile. You take isobutronitrile and treat with base like LDA and quench with allyl bromide and you will get corresponding the allyl group. This upon reduction with dibol you get the corresponding aldehyde and this aldehyde on treatment with this lithium you will get the alcohol and further reduction gives you the precursor for arene meta photocycloaddition reaction. So, this undergoes arene meta photocycloaddition to give these two products where this is the major product. Take this major product and then treat with benzene thiol in liquid ammonia. So, what happens in the presence of liquid ammonia? Benzene thiol forms PHS radical. Okay. So, that undergoes a 1 4 addition, that undergoes a 1 4 addition and pushes the double bond. Okay. And followed by lithium and liquid ammonia cleaves the SPH. So, basically, this cyclopropane is opened up with benzene thiol. And when it opens up the double bond also migrates then the SPH is reductively cleaved with lithium ammonia to get the double bond. Now you need a functional group here is not it you need a you need a hydroxyl group there. So, that is done by treating with chromium trioxide dimethyl pyrazole to get the ketone and that was reduced to get alcohol before that you know you need a methyl group here. Okay, this place you need a methyl group. So, you treat with LDA and quench with methyl iodide, you can introduce the angular methyl group and followed by reduction with sodium borohydride, you get corresponding serotopicanol. I will complete uh, the whole process of photochemical reactions being used at the total synthesis of triquinines with one, one more total synthesis again reported by uh, vendor and that is about total synthesis of super pargic acid. Okay. So, this is an angular triquinine okay, having a carboxylic acid. Okay. So, now if you look at this, this particular compound has 3 functional groups. One you have a ketone, then you have a double bond and third one is the carboxylic acid. And vendor could use successfully the arene olefin meta photocycloaddition reaction to get this compound. How he has devised this retrosynthetic analysis? This acid if you have a CH 2 Cl or CH 3 okay, that methyl group attached to the double bond can be converted into carboxylic acid. Okay. It can be just simple methyl also okay, that can be converted into the corresponding carboxylic acid. Okay. And the ketone it is better to protect it so that you no, know, it will not interfere in other reactions and that can be obtained from this tetracyclic compound using the photocycloaddition reaction. Obviously, the precursor for this is this RL substituted compound and that can be obtained from 2 bromo 1 4 dimethyl benzene. Okay. So, that is a commercially available starting material. So, you take this 2 bromo 1 4 dimethyl benzene and treat with lithium. So, you exchange this with uh, lithium and then add this aldehyde. Okay. So, this aldehyde also uh, you know quite easy to make. You have to think about using Claisen rearrangement. This is an exercise, think about it. If you use a Claisen rearrangement, you will get this aldehyde. Then you will get this benzylic alcohol oxidize this benzylic alcohol with PCC to get ketone, then protect this ketone as the corresponding ketone. Then do the key meta photocycloaddition reaction that gives a mixture of these two. 
one is the linear triquinine, other one is the angular triquinine one. So, separate these two, take the angular one and again use a radical condition. You use a benzyl peroxide and acetonitrile, benzyl peroxide and acetonitrile. It forms a sort of you know benzyl peroxide generates this CH2 CN radical and that undergoes a 1,4 radiation like it attacks this double bond and the double bond migrates and then breaks this. It is almost like 1,4 addition concurrently breaking the cyclopropane. Now you do not need the cyanide ok you need uh, you know methyl group only there. So, you can use potassium in 18 crown 6 it will reductively cleave the cyanide and you will get the methyl group ok. Now what you need? You need to remove this ketol as well as oxidize the methyl group to corresponding carboxylic acid. So, if you treat with MCBBA there is only one double bond. So, the double bond will become the epoxide. You make this epoxide. Now, if you treat with base, strong base, okay, you can use LDA or you can use isopropyl cyclohexyl magnesium bromide. So, that is a base that will act as a base. Basically, what you will get is corresponding allylic alcohol. So, basically, this will open up the epoxide to get corresponding allylic alcohol. So, what you need as I said this methyl group should be converted into corresponding carboxylic acid ok. So, it took little bit more steps than what they would have expected. Then you have to functionalize this here the double bond should be functionalized at the same time the double bond has to move here. So, this was easily done by treating with thionyl chloride. So, what will happen the double bond will migrate and you will get a corresponding CH2Cl allyl chloride. So, once you have this allyl chloride, so you do treat with silver fluoroborate and DMSO you get the corresponding aldehyde ok. It is a DMSO based reagent ok. So, that is very easy to oxidize a chloride to corresponding aldehyde. Then phenic oxidation gives the corresponding carboxylic acid. So, that is the natural product. But what you should remember is during the thionyl chloride reaction not only the allylic alcohol was converted into the corresponding allyl chloride with the displacement in the form of SN2I reaction, but also the ketol was cleaved because when you use thionyl chloride HCl also will be formed ok. Though you use pyridine the HCl pyridine HCl also is sufficient to cleave the ketol to give ketone. So, to summarize uh, Venter's group reported the total synthesis of subargargic acid in 1990 using their reaction that is arene uh, meta arene photocycloaddition reaction and they started with uh, bromo paras xylene as the starting material and as I said the key reaction is the arene olefin meta photocycloaddition. So, this reaction this particular synthesis took, took little bit longer steps. So, it took about 11 steps still the overall lead was uh, 15 percent ok. So, that is a really uh, interesting method to make such a natural product ok. Thank you.